Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be making a video about something pretty different from what I usually do. And so this is about a well-known scammer called Vamin. He has around 400 vouchers for being a scammer. He's banned off the Deep Open Discord. I'm pretty sure he's also banned off the Type Soul Discord. Maybe he's on another account. I'm not too sure. And he owns a server called Type Segunda. If you guys don't know what that server is, it's basically something he's made so that he can just scam people and blackmail people. And we're going to be going through every proof I have against him. I just want to say the title is not clickbait and I did encounter him at one time. And I'll show you guys the screenshots between me and Vamin. Okay, so uh, at one time he basically DM'd me and said, Yo, I was wondering if you're interested in advertising my server, Dodgy G Type Segunda. And, and he, was, he was saying he would give me payments for adver advertising and that. And he was like, yo, let me know. And I was like, okay, this is interesting. You know, it's, it's a big server. You know, why not? I was like, sure. So if I send it to my server, when and what would you give? Because I thought it was like a server advertisement. But he's like, no, I want in a video. And I was like, and because a lot of times ads do do terrible unless you're relevant. Unfortunately, if I do ads, it's not going to be as relevant. i am be real. But if I do just normal type of videos, they do pretty well a lot of the times. And so he was asking if I have TikTok, he was asking for my like average views, you know, I could get I could get views like that at times, you know, things like that. And he said, okay, let's do like every 50 members is a payment. And I told him, I'll think about it low key. Because at the time I wasn't too sure if I wanted to do this. And you know, maybe I didn't have the time, maybe I didn't just didn't feel like doing it. So I told him, if I take too long, all right, just assume I'm off. And he was like, okay. And then after he says, yo, yo, and Clearly, he's not listening to me, obviously. The, the guy's ego is so big, as you guys will see in the later in the video, that he thinks he can get to act like this, which is pretty sad, honestly. And so, and then after he tells me, you know, you're a, you know, you're a bitch for ghosting me, you're in Hollywood, so then, you know, then would be humble. And I told him I am Hollywood peasant as a joke, all right? Because I was like, why is this guy so pressed? I don't want to advertise a stupid server. Like, is he dumb? It, it, isn't that a choice? Why is bro acting like it's my duty too? And in the document and everything, you guys will see just how self-entitled this guy is. And I told him, anyways, have a good one. And he tells me, you're a random. And I told him, angry little guy, ease. And then after he DM'd me something, it was like a yo or something. I don't know, he was talking to me. And I was like, why is this guy DMing me? And he deleted the message. And then he says... He says, he says, you know, again, anyway, bro, I don't know how much time this guy's going to say it, but it's like my day, he said that. And I, th and I said, so I had you blocked. And then, you know, I didn't know you was a bitch, blah, 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 you know, just a lot of swearing. And I was trying to keep the insults to a low, I won't lie. So I was just telling him, like, keep talking, oh, you know, things like that. Just keep it yapping, keep it moving. And obviously, you know, he was uh, just saying stuff about my mom, really. So, uh, so I had to, you know, say a bit myself, but hey. That's not really where the point is, but obviously this guy, this guy has, this guy is a scammer and has the audacity to just be angry about things like this. It's pretty pathetic. Okay, so that's the encounter between me and the well-known scammer Vamin. Oh, well, he's not that well-known because a lot of people, if there's 4,000 people on the server, they don't know what he's done. But we're going to go through the documents, so just so you guys know. Alright, so I'm just going to read through the whole document. It's not too long, but you guys will have an idea of everything. And I'm just going to explain some things just so you guys fully understand it. Okay, so Type Segunda started with Vamin advertising it in every Discord he could. This eventually caught the Espada of Razuka's attention. And I guess he was interested by, in Vamin's idea and wanted to help him out. He helped Vamin by advertising his server in every faction Discord. Hueco, One and Raichen Society. So already, if this guy wasn't a scammer, right, then he actually respected people and you know could have just grown as someone well known for having a big server like that without you know having these scam accusations you know there's nothing stopping him like i don't know why he felt the need to just go on a scamming spree but hey you guys will see just how bad it is in a bit a little while during or after this employees started to notice vamin was pocketing the items he's collected and ended up not paying any of his employees and ended up firing them because he didn't want to pay them okay here's a screenshot uh, this is green. If you guys know what happened to him, you guys know what happened. But at the time, this is what this is what he said. Type Segunda server is no longer an official and backed server by Type Soul. Use at your own risk. So here he removed the Type Segunda server, and I think it's because of suspicions that people told about Vamin might have, you know, brought this out. He essentially would go to collect from people and just pocket the items without recording them, and sometimes he just closed the ticket. One of the managers of the Discord talking about the owner. Like I said, use at your own risk. Again, he's just saying the same thing. 
And as you can see here, he's saying Vamin, by the way. So this is him. He would have still been an owner, of course, since he started it. But instead, he banned the developer and Razuka, which caused him to get an in-game ban and from the Discord. I can't lie to you. This is such a bad idea. Like, just doing that caused so much drama. It was insane. Like, this guy, this guy might be th the one, right? Like, him. But as in, like, the stupid one. Because banning a developer and then banning a co-owner for no absolute reason is going to get you cooked if you don't have a reason, you know? Because what's worse is, after banning Razuka and the type soul dev, he tried to make false allegations against Razuka saying he scammed him. So again, this guy thought it was a really good idea to ban these lot, alright? And then saying... They scammed me. You're, you're saying that to a developer. Really. Who do you think the game's gonna believe? If, especially when you don't have any solid proof. So, this guy's obviously pretty dumb, you know, doesn't think for himself. I think he should be spread around more. I used to be a manager until uh, this certain date, which was in June, which is like two months before the incident occurred, I guess. And he asks people in his Discord for real life money, which is quite embarrassing. At 15 year old, if you want money so bad, get a job, something. Alright? Unless your parents give you money, there's no reason for you to go, be going around scamming people. It's never, there's never a good time to scam people, because obviously it's wrong in itself. And there's more screenshots about him just, just blackmailing people, forcing people. Whoever doesn't contribute by paying the giveaway winners gets fired, by the way. Now he's basically forcing the workers and, you know, the helpers to give the giveaway prizes that, even though he's the one that made the giveaways. So in essence, he's the one that looks good making the giveaways, but he doesn't actually give anything. I'm not paying shit to talk to some stupid human. That's just crazy. You're not better. You're not any better, my guy. You're a human like us. I don't know who this guy thinks he is, but the ego is on another level. The ego game is crazy. He has asked me plenty of times to invest in others around 200 to $400 for his game that's supposedly going to take off. Not to mention he would try to make me pay for GFX for more perms to fix his terribly made server. That is insane. 200 to $400 for his game. Even if that was the case, you need a lot to prove about your game if you're requesting that amount of money. And as you can see, this guy just loves to force people and constantly remind people to, you know, donate to him because he's just so poor and whatnot for some reason. Invest, 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 could you invest? Nothing wrong with being poor, chat, but if you want to scam people, then there's something wrong with it. But you know, invest in my game, invest, invest in what? Invest, invest in me, please. You're asking to invest, are you going to put anything in yourself? I'm asking you to invest, absolutely insane. Pay for my GFX or I'm banning you. Once again, he's blackmailing people and forcing them. Okay, and this is the DM just showing him and Varmin, you know, obviously scamming again. I guess, what does he do better anyways? Yeah, you said yes already. So, can I have administrator? For what? So I can do things I need to do. I gave you most of the perms. And he was like, hmm, okay, if you pay for this GFX. Someone, someone, someone may make me unbroke. Someone give me money, someone pay my rent. Someone gives me moods. I have to say, bro, this is embarrassing. Begging on Discord in this big day and age of 2024 is just crazy. Alright? Why is bro why is bro begging for money? First off, begging is annoying enough. But the fact that this guy's a scammer makes all of this more humorous. Vermin has advertised twice in his Discord about two separate games he's apparently making working. He literally begs people in his Discord to invest in his game. That's going nowhere, and I bet the development isn't even real. And, you know, Mostlers, invest, yes, but not in prices, which is for Segunda, I'll consider, no, don't, bro, don't, don't, it's not worth it, this guy's just gonna scam you. 300 to 400 USD for 7%, 300 to 400 USD for 7%, is this guy okay? Yeah, it's gonna be cash grab though, so I can use it as fund for this project, no shame, bro, no shame. New price is 500 USD for 7%. This guy's trying to make a bag badly, bro. Absolutely diabolical. How much would be my percentage? Depends on the amount you're investing. Alright, so how much does 1k sound? 1k what? Robux. You can get 0.001% with 1k Robux. Yeah, forget it. 0.01% 0 .01 is crazy. Not even 1%. Yeah, I need 300 to 400 USD. This guy's diabolical, bro. I just, like, I'm reading this and I can't even believe what I'm seeing, bro. This guy is just ungrateful. He thinks people are really going to give him that much amount of money for a game. Like, the amount of things you can do with that much money, like, the amount of things you can really do, that would be useful to you. Instead of spending it on a 15-year-old who's having existential crisis because he's acting like he's not human, you know, he's acting like he's better than everyone, which is just crazy. It's just, a, you know, another day, another scammer type shit. 
and then he pings people in the server helpers, or, you know, whatever their roles are. Got money? Why? Wanna invest in my game? Again, half of this is just him begging people, invest in my game, invest in my game, invest in my game. Varmin has reached out to people and wasted the time and work. Someone made something for his game and never received payment. Well, 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 chat. What were we waiting for? Just going down this document, what were we waiting for anyways? Like, this guy wasn't gonna get any better anyways. Yo, it's been nearly a whole last day and I still didn't receive my payment. Okay, you can be patient. Now nah, look bro, it's been nearly 24 hours I've been patient enough and he's right, alright? Why does he have to wait so long to receive money, alright, for something he's made for your game? If you don't have the flippin' money, don't ask for stuff. But again, he's not gonna understand that since he's just a big scammer. He's low-key right, not being biased. You see, even he's saying, I'm assuming this guy is talking about uh, Kaylin being right, right? Because of the message is right under. So he's telling him, you know, he's right, give him the money and, and stuff like that. And he said, okay, you can leave then. This guy's so dumb, bro. This guy's so dumb, it's hurting my brain just reading this. I can't lie to you. I ain't leaving until I'm getting paid. Then wait, how much a whole year? As long as it takes. Specify the time then. He deserves to know when he will be getting paid for something he made for you. You don't have the right to just leave him hanging for what? You're telling him you're going to be the one deciding how much he's going to weigh. That's just a big cover up of him basically telling you, I'm not paying you, alright? You're cooked. You gave me this for free and I'm not paying you. Okay, this is a paragraph by Vortex. You know, he he, he, he knew um, Varmin, so I'm just going to read it about what he says about him. Okay, so I think that overall he can be chill, but he look, he gets on my nerves a lot. Like when he said earlier about everyone working on tickets, even if they're in school, or on lower, which is some straight bullshit. Like, watch if you're on a vacation or an important school project comes up and you still want to work for Type Segunda because you get free shit. Which makes sense. You know, you work for something, you get something in return. It's common sense. Like, it makes no sense how he wants us to work 24 7 on tickets. He acts like we're robots half the time and that we always 24 7 need to do tickets. Plus, he's the owner and he doesn't even do tickets, but he complains about them so much. It's all low-key bullshit and I fall about quitting it multiple times just because we're expected to do all this work for 24-7, basically every day, every hour of your day. He treats us like we're his slaves or something. Pretty clearly, that's what it is. He thinks everyone's a slave. The fact that this guy has the actual audacity to tell people, no, you're gonna be constantly doing my tickets, you're gonna be doing all of this for me. What makes it worse than him not wanting to give anyone free time? What makes it worse is the fact that he doesn't even pay them at all. If you paid them, at least they're getting something. No, they're doing all of this and they're getting used. They're doing all of this for free. Which is just crazy. Not even employees in Varmin's server like him either. Some of them think he overuses his power because he has all the power when he really does it in reality. And he is just someone who likes to scam and betray a lot of people, etc. Well, that just sums really, that just sums it up from, uh, from this at least anyways. Yeah, honestly, it's just crazy. The fact that your employees, your own employees, don't like you is crazy. But obviously, from these screenshots, what you guys have seen so far, you can tell, you know, it's pretty much... It makes sense why you wouldn't like him. You can't like someone who just uses you just to not give you anything in the end. This, this is some... This is some max tier scamming. Okay, and he made that video over me cancelling a giveaway because he cancelled the deal. You don't know the whole story, so don't talk. What he's talking about is this guy called Bat uh, made a YouTube video about... It exposing this guy. It's got like 15k views. Check out to this video if you guys want to. It's very good to like see the other videos, you know, that talk about this so that you guys have full insight who this guy is so you don't get yourself scammed and you don't work for someone who doesn't care about you at all, all right? You're a much bigger helper for a guy who does not care about you except the fact that you do everything for him. When you ask him, oh, when are you going to pay me? He tells you, oh, I'm going to fire you since I don't need you anymore. You know, he says things like that to basically get his way to not pay people, which is just crazy. What was the deal? It was a long term contract, like an essence of true hug, per promo that he did. And he made a vid and he told me to host giveaways for it so that people would join, so I did. And then he said, oh, this marks the end of our partnership, goodbye. So I deleted the giveaways because I thought he cancelled it. Obviously here he's lying, all he's trying to say is, the long term contract was him extending to get a lot of people and all the benefits. And so as soon as he doesn't need bats, as you can see here, and he said, Oh, you know, this marks the end of our partnership. He didn't say this, child. Obviously, you can tell just from the kind of guy this guy is, he just blocked him because he didn't want to pay him. Because he was doing so well, and now he's like, okay, I don't need you anymore. Boom, blocked. So I deleted the giveaways because I thought he cancelled it. You know damn well you weren't going to do them anyways, bro. Varmin is lying just to not raise suspicion about himself, even though there are many videos about him scamming, etc. 
Okay, here's a video of um, Rokazu. If you guys haven't watched the video, make sure you all watch it. He's also uploaded, like, I think two new videos about the whole situation. So make sure you all watch it after this one. And again, this is the video of Bat. This is the link of the video in Bat for Bats. If you guys, you know, um, I'll also watch it. I might link this document in the description. I'll see if I'm allowed to do that. And, you know, Vamin also lied, scammed in the past, and still does to this day. Even if he is trying to deny any accusations or etc. There's actually screenshots about him. Um, recently, I'm pretty sure um, someone joined the server. Because I have screenshots from like a GC. Someone basically like spammed the link of the video talking about him scamming. And he said things like, you know, you can believe in whatever you want to believe, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, basically, he's just trying to cover up. He's just lying to the people in the server. And obviously, they're going to believe him because, you know, they don't know anything about the situation. They just think it's some troll or something. But no, bro. It's just people trying to raise awareness against the scammer. And hopefully uh, this video reaches enough people to, I don't know, get this guy, you know, fully, like, his Discord band or, I don't know, whatever happens. Because whatever needs to happen, because it's just crazy how, how this guy thinks he can just scam people rent-free, use people, not pay the promised things he's said he's going to give people, you know? Just a big scammer in general. It just, it really appalls to me how someone lacks this much common decency as a human being. The fact that this guy is so, like inflicted by his big ass ego of you're gonna do all of this for me whether you like it or not i don't care if you're in school you know even though you may have an important exam you may be at work have a big meeting i don't care you're gonna do all of this for me and when i don't need you i will fire you just all of that is just honestly it's just truly disgusting and it's pretty terrible so yeah uh this is pretty much gonna sum up everything of the video and guys as i was recording this video basically um i got a new screenshot Basically, I was updated on someone you might guys may have seen the screenshot. I don't know whether to say the name or not, but basically they told them I don't. I told them I don't want to work on a stupid project because I was lead dev, but he didn't want to listen to anything I was telling him, and he said that if I quit, I'd be fired, and he would make everyone think I was a scammer. Give Moon, give him Murasama out of your own paycheck. I pay you guys good enough. I never got a paycheck. I also don't have a stream. Kid, your paycheck is from tickets. So this guy's this guy's really stupid. He's calling, he's basically saying, right, that all the tickets or whatever, he's just trying to fake the paychecks bad. He's telling them, I pay you guys well enough, you know, out of your own paychecks, you know, do, like, give this giveaway winner a stream of Reatsu. What paycheck, bro? Where's he gonna get it, bro? From the behind or something? Like, how is he gonna get something he doesn't have? Is This guy is just so dumb. I, I, think, I think my brain is really getting inflicted by how dumb of a person this guy I've seen be. Overall though, this basically sums up everything I have to say about this scam of vermin. And again, it's just crazy to think that someone with so many scam vouchers, alright, somebody who's banned at the Deep Broken Discord, is still making a running server, scamming people, and they don't know they're being scammed. Using people, and they won't know until he tells them, oh yeah, I'm actually gonna fire you because so and so, you know, this and that. When in reality, he never wanted to pay you in the first place, he always wanted to use you. So, I think it's important this video again, you know, reaches people because I don't want anyone else getting scammed by him. It's truly terrible to just get scammed by people in general. And just some, you know, just having no idea someone's going to scam you like that is always a terrible situation. So, this guy's just really a terrible person. Like, there's no other way to sum it up. Like, he's going to lie about anyone and scam anyone. It's, it's truly diabolical. Uh, that's gonna sum up everything I have to say for this video. It is a pretty long video, one of my longest videos I'd say. But it is important to reach out about scammers and put them in their place because even if this video doesn't get much views, I hope that whoever doesn't know me before and watches this, or anyone in general, is now, you know, they know who this person is. So they don't get themselves scammed. That's the goal. But yeah, um, that's gonna be all. And I'll see you guys next time or if I get an update of the situation.